Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet Classic and we are back at the Congo. We are starting to run out of time, guys. We've only got a couple more days for this DLC, so I'm trying to get as much in as I can possibly get in at this point. I've got over a million in ca game cash here already and I've spent it. I've fixed everything. I've bought a whole bunch of stuff and I still have that much left over. But I do want to thank several of my viewers who have pointed out some great locations to fish in this particular menu. And one of which I want to go ahead and pay some particular attention to in this episode, guys. I do need to give credit where credit is due if I can. Yes, uh, Colin Gawilliam gave me the coordinates for this location. And it just so happens that I also had a marker that was close to this as well that was given to me from one of my previous viewers so basically I've got and pinpointed a location that's not only good for the Goliath tigerfish but it's also great for the African tigerfish which is awesome because normally these guys seem, I've been finding them in separate locations but let me go ahead and take you to this spot because it's actually in a location you wouldn't really think would have them. You think of fast moving water. Well, there is fast moving water here. And a little bit misleading, honestly. Uh, let me go ahead and get in here, guys. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to take you over there. But we have to start from the boat dock to get there. Um, let me go ahead and get in the boat. Get started up and. We need to go around this island. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the M so that I can see where it is that I'm going. Now when I say this island, I actually mean this group of islands. We need to go all the way around there. Now you're seeing it on that little map in the screen here. It's coming up. But there's some markers right there. Now what we're looking for is actually in between two islands right before you get there and there's a small bridge there and for some reason this place has a lot of current right before it and because of that the African and the Goliath tiger fish are in great number which is amazing but I went ahead and marked not only the spots they gave me but also a couple of them where I caught them after fishing here for just a little while. Now we're going to go ahead and stop here. I want to put my anchor down but I will tell you this guys the key to getting these guys really is got to be with making sure that the anchor is up because some of these fish are huge now if you're level 75 80 no big deal but if you're level 58 like I am the gear that you have you're gonna need it because you're not gonna you you might pull them in but it's gonna take you a while that's, what, that's all I can say it's gonna take you a long long while but this is where it is there's the bridge I was talking about right over here and William, I think is how he says his name or whatever. I will put it, you know, pop it up here so you can see it. He pointed out the coordinates and he said that he caught both unique and uh, trophy Goliath and African tigerfish. Well, guess what, guys? I've caught both of them here as well. And I checked it out. It is for real. This is the honest to God's truth. This is a for real place. It's even better than the one over there by the falls, which is surprised, really surprised me because you would think this would be a real calm place. But if you haven't noticed, I'm moving. That's because the current here is pretty strong, honestly. Once you get out of here, it's really strong. So I think what it is is they're catching the residual African tigerfish predators and they're waiting for bait fish to come by and capture them while sitting in this location here. So, yeah, we've moved a lot already. So, you kind of have to move yourself back and forth a little bit in order to stick with the location. But, in fact, I'm going to have to do it again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my 
trolling motor a little bit here. And I'm going to back up. That's what the trolling motor's for, guys. There we go. And once we got ourselves positioned, we're going to go ahead. We're going to check the peak period time. There's a slight rise here. I'm going to go ahead and forward it to this point, though, look, guys, because honestly, it's not that great there. Honestly. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place some bottom rods here. I wanted to try out these. I just recently unlocked these, the freshwater prawns. wanted to see if they do anything. Just got to check. Honestly, I have a good feeling that they might have tricked these fish because they are freshwater prawns. If not, we'll, we'll try something else. I'm going to go with the shiners. I know they will definitely get, you know, garner their attention without any problem. And we are going to go ahead and bring out our, not our flow rod actually, we can actually do our float rod too, but if you're going to do it, I would suggest either using shiners or large minnows. And if you're going to use allure fishing, I would do the flat spoons. And I'll tell you guys, honestly, let me go ahead and get in here real quick to the inventory. The casting spoons for nighttime these work best at night for these guys even better than these flat spoons I have had so much luck with these two either the red or the blue doesn't matter you can switch them off if one doesn't catch anything then switch to the other one I swear it will catch them uh, I would set it to either on your uh, real speed two or three but we're gonna stick with this because it does better in the daytime I have caught quite a few in this location. I was able to fill up my net in no time. I want to start with. There you go. I mean, did I lie? Did I lie? Here you go. This spot is amazing. I mean, amazing. And I've got a bite on the other one. No joke. I don't know what it is, but... Okay, this one's going to be a little tricky to bring in. I might lose the other one. That's not a big deal. I'm not torn up about it. I want to get this one, because whatever this one is, these, these give me a really good fight. I don't think it's an African, because the amount of power he's got... The Africans come in fairly easily, unless you get a trophy or higher, but this is probably a Goliath. Yeah, see, I strike timed out, but that, actually, if it strike times out, that just means that he quit biting. It doesn't mean he took your bait, so bait's still good, and you can still get another fish to bite on that particular rod. Damn, this is a big fish. Holy crap. See, this is 87 pound test. 81.1 pound rod. We're talking a big fish here, guys. Big old fish. And there he is. It's definitely a, a tiger, because he came to the service. I've got another one on the bottom rods okay and the reason it's better to have the anchor is so that the fish can actually wear itself out it basically pulls your boat around that makes him expend more energy and you can wear him out faster I've just about got this guy. He is... I think we got him, finally. Trophy Goliath Tiger, Tigerfish. 
139 cash, 13,053 XP gained. That's what really matters right there, guys. The XP. This is it. This is what's going to get you levels. Just to give you an idea how big this guy is. There you go, guys. That's a monster. Now, he's not a unique by any means, but he's up there. Now, it looks like we had a couple attacks on our bottom rods, too, here. And they literally, look how far they drug us. <laughs> That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Drug us all the way over here. No big deal. We'll just move it back. Now you can put the anchor down and fight them, but I tell you, you're going to be fighting them a lot longer. And if you get a unique, you might snap your line, honestly. Because these, these fish are no joke. They're big. They are seriously big. Now I'm going to go ahead and reel these in and see if I can't take us over there by trolling motor. I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. We may have to actually... Oh wow, I think he might have landed us up. Alright, we'll go ahead and get in here and do it this way. Yeah, I think they beached us. <laughs> they actually beached us there. Damn. That can happen. But I've managed to get a unique doing this method where I was able to pull him in within just a literally a few seconds because he was he bit close enough. Okay, let's go ahead. What I usually do is I throw the anchor to at least get it stopped then I lift the anchor and hit R and get out on the boat like that that's how I do it now I don't know if anything bit on the prawns I don't think they did so far but it doesn't mean they didn't I just have a feeling about the prawns I think they're going to bite on them Alright, we got the bottom rod set. Now, if you're going to do float fishing, you can do float fishing. Now, this guy, uh, William, he also suggested a 7 on hook using the shiners. And I'll tell you honestly, it seems like they do bite on them pretty heavily right here. Now, I don't know about all of the other locations. I don't know that it matters. Maybe I'm superstitious because he told me so. <laughs> <laughs> All I do know is that I have been getting a lot more bites off the shiners with the float rod than I have the large minnows. And this particular marker I've placed has been really good for me. And now that you see this, I'm going to try to see if I can't get I can't get the map out right at the moment, but I will try to get you the coordinates here in just a moment. Actually, I could just pop it on the screen. Whoa. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? This is the spot, guys. This is the spot. This is it. This is the primo spot. I thought the other spot was good. But this one makes the other one look sick. Now, I think we got us an African. Yeah, yeah we do. There you go. Now, as you notice, the African has got the teeth, but he's not nearly as big. But pound for pound, they get about as much XP and about as much cash. So if you were to get the same amount of weight in African Tigerfish, you're going to get the same XP and cash that you would if you got a Goliath. So honestly, catching these is not a big deal. As far as filling up your net, it's not going to waste your time in the least. I think I've got a bite on this one here. Look at that rod. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. There it goes. <laughs> I 
Now, what have we got here? This isn't very big, whatever it is. Maybe it's another... Ah! It's an African big eye! Hey, little guy. How you doing? Guess you felt kind of brave today, huh? Nah, I don't mind catching them. They're kind of cool. They're a little bit different. Well... I don't know that I'm getting anything off these prawns. I just thought I'd give them a chance. Until I have proof that they're going to buy it off of it, I'm going to go ahead and switch back the, to something I know that works. Large minnows. And this, let me show you here. This was a marker that was given to me. Now, honestly, I, I apologize to the to the guy that sent me to this particular marker but I wish it identified them but it does not I was on the computer and playing with the guy and he gave it to me I, I do want to let him know that I appreciate it but apparently he caught a unique Goliath tiger fish here and gave it to me and I appreciate it he caught it off a of buzz bait and ribbed shad so those are another couple of lure options you can use. I haven't tried the rib shap. I have tried the buzz bait and did catch them off of that. Not a unique, but I caught a regular Goliath off of it. The rib shap, I don't think I have, honestly. But that gives you some other options of lures to try. And like again, I apologize for not remembering who gave that to me. I've gotten a lot of these markers. But I do appreciate it, and if you let me know in the comments, I will definitely give you another shout-out. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of comments and things from people, and I'm 50, almost 56 years old. I forget stuff, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, let me go ahead and get my second rod out here. We're going to try this location, see if we can't get something else. Now we've already showed that we got float fishing and we got them with the shiners. I think I'm going to go ahead and try lure fishing again. But not before I grab this rod here. Hold on. They don't give you a lot of time. Yep, looks like we got us another tiger fish here. He's a big one. Ooh, he's definitely a big one. Come on, big fella. Come on. Come on. Ooh, damn. You think you're a bad bub. Hmm. You think, well, I was going to say bad, you know what, but I'm trying to cut myself from swearing. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. Damn. All right, come on. Well, damn. I think we have ourselves at least another trophy here. At least another trophy. Wow, this guy is still pulling this boat. That is a strong fish. This 
Let him do it. He'll just wear himself out. This has got to be at least a trophy, guys, but judging from how much he has fought this, but if he is a trophy only, he's on the upper end of the scale. Just when I think I have him. And we got him, finally. Holy crap. No, he's just a Goliath. But he is up on the higher end of the scale, definitely. 52.71 XP. As you see, you can definitely get them here. Without a doubt. Alright. How much did he drag me around this place? I don't even see the markers anymore, guys. Holy crap. He dragged me all over the place. Well, let me go ahead and grab this one. I see them now. They're over there. Yeah, we're going to have to go back in here. Ooh, there's some big fish down there. We might have to do some investigation on what is down there as well once if we have the time that is but yeah we have to get ourselves all the way back because <laughs> we are in the peak period here you don't want to get too close because And you can't use lure fishing. There we go. We're going to go ahead and get out. Actually, I'm going to go ahead. Now get out. Okay. Got to make sure I lift that anchor. Now let's try this flat spoon again. I'm going to try this marker where that other fellow had listed. I think... So the way the markers work, they usually mark where they you throw the the lure initially. It doesn't mean that's where the fish bit. So we just have to be in line with it. See what I mean? There you go. Just like I said. Now if I can get him in soon enough, I can get him up without having to move. There we go. African tiger fish. Not bad. And we've got one on number two here. Off the shiners. I'm thinking that he is bigger. This is a much heavier rod. So whatever this is, this is probably a Goliath. And I think I'm getting one off the first rod. Jeez. They are really biting good. We'll see if this is just a regular one. I think it is. Because he's coming in a little too easily. Either that or he's a Goliath or an African. Yep, he's a trophy African. That's why he was so easy. But look at the XP here. 620 XP, 11,520. Now if you get a unique, it's going to be double that. 
Almost. Definitely worth it, man. Definitely worth it. And we didn't even have to change positions here. We can just put our rods back where they were, and we should be good to go. Now, let me see here. Should I go with the lure fishing? I can do either one, honestly. Let's just do lure fishing one more time. I'm going to do it a little bit to the left of that marker. Since we caught the one there, it's probably a good idea to move a little bit. I usually reel it in three times. That gives you, most of the time, three dots. Two at least. Well, let's go ahead and turn the boat back around. Since those guys drag us all over the damn place. Let's get ourselves closer to the markers. Yeah, I don't think there's any place we could park ourselves. Maybe over there a little bit, but... You would have to try to fish from the bridge. Honestly, I haven't tried it from the bridge. That might not be a bad idea. Let me give that a try, guys. Let me see if we can't bring our boat in here. Because I know you can access this. No, nope, you cannot get there from the boat. Well. well let's go ahead and go back to the main map. Let's see if we can't get there. See if we can't find it. Now, this is where it's located. And that is the markers. So we need to get across, at least over to here. So I'm trying to get you guys to where you can access that damn location. I think you can. So you have to go along this. That looks like a good spot too, guys, honestly. Let me see here. Let's check the map here. Yep, we're making our way. We're making our way. Can't get through there, can we? No. So we're just skirting along the outer edge of the island. And there's a rope bridge there. Okay, that's not the bridge. Let me see where we are here. Okay, we are almost to the bridge of interest here. Let's see. So it should be this one right here. There we go, and there's our markers. So let's see if we can pull off what we were doing before. Well, granted, we're going to have to deal with not having the boat's <laughs> capabilities. But this means you don't have to be in a boat to fish here. That's what I'm trying to figure out on. Okay, I've got... Let's change these hook sizes to something else. Large minnows.
Let's see, what else would they go for? Because I'm out of the small tilapia. Now well, let's just go with large minnows. I can't see that third marker very well. Let me see here. There it is. But you can't see them all. And that's a good thing. Now you can either flow fish or lure fish, and we're going to try lure fishing at the moment. Because it is right in the path where we need to be able to cast. And there it is. <laughs> awesome. So we can do it right from here, guys. Right from here. Oh boy. The only problem is, without the boat, we are a little bit hindered. Well, this is some pretty strong line. We might be able to get him in. Yep, this is the spot, guys. This is the spot. Not easy, to, really easy to access, though. Like I, I showed you, you had to go along the outer edge of the island to get here. Or by boat. down to 70, 50, hopefully this won't time out or get the bait, I don't know if that's going to happen though. I was real close too. There you go, guys. Unique. There he is. There he is. Unique African tigerfish. 53.154 pounds. It shows you how close I was with some of those trophies to having unique. There he is. First one caught on screen. There he is, guys. I have proved myself worthy. <laughs> African tigerfish. That is a. Now, I haven't got a unique Goliath, but I have proven at least with the African you can get them here without a doubt. And see what I mean by about pound for pound. The XP twelve four fifty. Definitely worth your time, guys. Definitely worth your time. Now, I had the second rod that was being drug all over the place. It was a strike timed out, which means I did not lose the bait. So, all I need to do is just really cast it right back out where it was. And grab this other fish. And this is something big. Wasn't sure there for a second. Oh wow. Yeah, this is a big fish. This isn't my heaviest bottom rod, so that doesn't really mean a whole lot. second rod goes up to 87 pounds so 
if he pulls it like that, then you've got either a trophy or unique. This could be either a common on the higher end or a trophy. I don't think it's a unique. He's coming out a little bit too easy for a unique. I don't know though. Man, he's. Damn. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to end this here because I think you got. <laughs> I think you got the idea, guys. I think you have the idea of just what this spot is. Either from boat or from shore. This is a great spot. Holy crap. If this isn't a unique, he is definitely on the higher end of a trophy. Mm. I've had these guys spool me plenty of times. That's the only thing about doing it offshore. There's no give. Can't use the boat to wear them out. You just have to play them and hope to God they don't spool you. So far, he's coming in, so either he's swimming towards me and hasn't realized that he's caught, and I think that's probably the case. Sometimes letting up on the tension gives him a false sense of security and they'll swim towards it or let let off on their pressure We got him. There he is. It's just a Goliath. He was just a higher end. Alright guys, I tell you, I think we've really run out of time here, but I think you got the point. Honestly, I could imagine you didn't get the point, but this is a really awesome spot. I'm not saying there aren't any better spots. I'm not saying there aren't any just as good. But this one that was given to me by Gawilliam was amazing. And honestly, I've been able to get quite a bit of XP and cash just because of this. And they are still biting. No joke. But I will tell you one thing, guys. After the two days I have left, I'm hoping to get, if not at Marone Lake, but at least closer to it. And that will have opened three more waterways that I didn't have before. That means lots more videos, lot, lots more, you know, reviews of different species and different locations at these news locations. And had I not done this with the Congo, I would not have been able to reach it in any time within <laughs> probably a year. So this was definitely worth the time and the money, guys. That's all I can tell you. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And if there's anything else you guys want to see before I end this, I have a couple more days. 
If you want to see me catch a specific type of catfish, any other of the species that we have seen, I will do so real quick. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's a bulldog fish, I will go after it. But we've got a couple more days, guys. Let me know. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.